Hi everyone. Today we are going to see about the parotid gland and the structures present inside. So you know that the parotid gland is a structure, a pyramidal shaped gland, the largest of the salivary gland, which is actually located very in close proximity with the external acoustic meatus. So it is actually a structure that you could see it pyramidal in shape. We are going to draw nearly a triangular structure, the gland. So if you could see this part, this part is the base, this one is the anterior border, this is the posterior border, reaching down this one is the apex. Okay. So, to label it off, this is the anterior border, this is the posterior border, this one is the apex and this is the base or superior surface. The one that I want to see it here, this is the lateral or superficial surface because it is actually related to the skin, the external part of the gland, the lateral surface or the superficial surface. The base is the one that is above and now the posterior part is the one that actually overlaps, it overlaps a structure that actually runs downwards okay so a few things that you have learnt about that is so here will be the location of the uh, the mastoid process the mastoid process just in front of mastoid process will be the external acoustic meatus and just in front of that will be the mandibular fossa and the mandible will be the condylite process of mandible will be here the condylite process and uh, here will be the coronoid process in front and uh, this accounts to the ramus of mandible so you will see the ramus of mandible here running up this is the body of mandible fine the body of mandible this is the coronoid process the notch that you could see it and the muscle that runs backwards all along that I am going to see it here. The muscle that you see it here that is running across the neck is every you, you, you will be knowing it, you know what the muscle is the sternocleida mastoid SCM sternocleida mastoid. So basically the posterior border is actually overlapping this muscle which is called a sternocleida mastoid. Anterior border is actually overlapping a bone called as ramus, but not the ramus that is actually present. It is not actually going to go over the ramus, but over the ramus there is a muscle that you could see it here. The name of the muscle, you will be knowing it, the name of the muscle that you could see here over the ramus of mandible is called as mesiter. It's called as mesiter. The name of the muscle is mesiter. So mesenter is the one that is actually you know inserted into the ramus of mandible and the anterior border of the parotid gland overlaps the mesenter muscle. Posteriorly the posterior border overlaps the sternocleida mastoid and also one more muscle called as a posterior belly of digastric. Both the, both the things together. Fine. So now above the superior surface you see the external acoustic meatus and you see the mandibular process mandibular fossa and the condylide uh, process that you can see it here basically the temporomandibular joint is actually related above there fine so you can see the external acoustic meatus you can see the temporomandibular joint you can see the condylide process anteriorly the uh, the anterior border overlaps the, uh, the mesenter muscle okay not the ramus basically ramus is the bone that is actually located the muscle that is present or inserted over the ramus or the lateral surface of the ramus 
is the masseter muscle. So points to note, the gland overlaps a muscle in front and a muscle behind. Okay. So now we are going to take a section of it, we are going to cut a gland, we are going to make a cross section, we are going to cut it, section, the gland is not actually going to look like this, instead it will be looking like this this portion and triangular not only this triangular not only this triangular but this way around so the triangle will be going all along here and then so here this is this surface this lateral surface is this one this anterior border is this point the posterior border is this point anterior border is this the lateral surface is this whole thing is lateral surface the whole thing this is the lateral surface that i was telling the gland is present here and the one that is present here this is the medial border this is the medial border got and between the anterior and the medial border this surface is anterior medial surface between the posterior and the medial border this is posterior medial surface this is lateral surface so if I'm going to draw it here one more picture of it so here comes the surface this is the medial border the posterior medial surface the anterior medial surface the lateral surface right we'll see the structures in the next video. Thank you.